Hello YouTube, it's Farmer Son Prepping here. Coming to you with a little video today talking about multi tools. Whatever your favorite kind is. I've got a uh, Victorian Oxfield Master here. Just give you a look at that. Let him wave. So you, you pick out your, your, your favorite, you know, sometimes you even have to work up to it. I had to work up to this Lutterman. I finally was able to get it a couple weeks ago, and I love it. How can you make your favorite multi-tool even better? How about magnetizing it? I carry a Maglite Baton 3. On the bottom here, as part of the charging system, there is a neodymium magnet in there, okay? Neodymium. Pretty powerful magnet. Uh, and a lot of y'all are going to say, duh, you know, my dad's been doing that his screwdriver or whatever ever since, you know, kingdom come. Yeah, that's true, but a lot of times we get much too if we don't think about it. Uh, this is something electricians do. People who are taking screws in and out of panels all the time they they magnetize their screwdrivers and their multi-tools uh, when you magnetize something the metal actually changes on a molecular level okay changes the molecules that are around in there and uh, it just takes a big strong magnet you can make other things magnetize as well so let's see here Wheel this dude around. Here we go. A lot of your multi tools have bits. Um, this one has a Phillips on one side and a flat on the other. Uh, good to magnetize these bits. It's also good to magnetize the part of the multi-tool that actually holds the bit in, too. These, uh, you know, after a lot of use, these kind of get loose. And uh, if you magnetize this part right here, uh, it'll help hold your bits in. You won't lose your bits as much. So, I magnetize this part, and I magnetize the tip as well on both sides. Uh... So how do I do that? Well, it's pretty simple really. This is, again, my mag light here. Just take your tip, trying to get this where y'all can see it, and just uh, stick it on there. I'll, I'll wiggle mine around, uh, especially on the Phillips head end. Uh, I try to set it on there in as many different angles as I can to get that center of that Phillips bit as close to the magnet as possible, okay? Uh, and I'll spin it around, and uh, a lot of times, uh, like, you see the little center, that's where the actual magnet is, in the center. It wants to draw this bit to the center. I'll take and I'll pull it away from the center. You really feel the force of the magnet there. And so I'll pull it away from the center of the magnet, and go around because that's the strong part really changing the molecules anyhow that's the way I do it so uh, what to do, do with that bit let's put it back in here so I've got some fish hooks laying on the table let me see if I can get y'all to where you can even see that I may not be able to I got some fish hooks. Probably can't even see them. I'm trying to get them. I may just have to hold it. There we go. Now we got some fish hooks on the table here. Some small, some large. Take your bit. Pick them up with the bit. See like that. And this helps when you're trying to put little tiny screws on your bit. 
if your uh, driver is magnetized enough, the screw will actually jump right up in the bit and be ready to go, ready to be put back in or whatever. Especially on the Phillips, you know, on the Phillips side, it'll just jump right up in that Phillips bit and be standing up there on the bit ready to go. So magnetize your multi-tools. This right here, I magnetize the Phillips head bit on my Victorian Ox right here. Uh, also, some people magnetize the tips of their knives. Uh, just as a way of having a, like if you lose, if you drop a screw, uh, you know, you pull out your knife, okay, and uh, you can uh, look around, move your knife around on the ground and find whatever screw you dropped. A lot of people do that as well. On my Letterman Wave Plus here, let me see, let's get that in. I actually magnetize the tip of my pliers as well. Now this is a gigantic 5 alt bass hook right here. I may have to, again, I may have to hold it down so y'all can see. I can just take my pliers and touch them, pick it up, and, and it's a help. You know, if you're if you're looking for little screws or uh, anyhow, y'all get the gist of it. It really helps you out having parts of your your tool magn magnetized, almost said magnified. That'd be this, not the magnet. Uh, so yeah, something to think about. Magnetize the parts of your multi-tools. You can also do a knife. Magnetize the tip of your knife. You know, just, and leave it on here. You know, put it, put it where it's stuck on there and leave it. Walk out of the room, leave it for, you know, an hour or two. And then, like, come back, flip it over on the other side and leave it for 10 or 15 minutes or whatever you got to do and come back and change it out. So, it, and that's not time consuming at all. Uh, that's what we got for you today. So uh, you can love your multi-tools even more. Magnetize the your screwdriver bits, uh, your knife blades, whatever, your, uh, your plier tips. And when you're looking for little screws or dealing with little screws, little lightweight screws that fall off easy, this can really help you out. Uh, it can help your screwdriver actually... Uh, grip the bit the uh grip the screw a little bit and it can help you out that's what we got for you today a little something different i know god bless y'all all my prayers from sun prep check y'all later